Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. I am here with a message. In this message, oh, the message I heard is get over here, run. <laughs> oh my goodness. The scripture comes from, okay, Testaments of the Twelve Patriarchs. And the one that I am being led to. This is the Testament of Judah, the fourth son of Jacob and Leah, and 24. And after these things, a star will arise from you to you from Jacob in peace. A man will arise from my seed like the son of righteousness, walking with the son, sons of men in meekness and righteousness. And no sin will be found in him. And the heavens will be open to him to pour out the spirit, even the blessing of the Holy Father. And he will pour out the spirit of grace on you. And you will be to him sons in truth. And you will walk in his commandments first and last. This branch of God most high and this fountain giving life to all. Then the scepter of my kingdom will shine forth and a stem will arise from your root. And a rod of righteousness will grow from it to the nations to judge and to save all that call on the Lord. So here's the message, okay? Um, so for those of you that want the backstory, okay, I see why, you know what I'm saying, God led me. Even though I was excited when I got my Bible and I started reading the beginning of all of the um the chapters, like the um the back of the book. But anywho. This is basically like this book um in particular is about the the sons of Jacob, okay? The sons of Jacob and Leah and this was basically um before they passed on they gave out wisdom to their children, to their sons, okay? And this was written down and um they basically, you know, in the scripture that I just read, this is a prophecy, you know, about Jesus Christ. And I just feel like um, they all had and they all have a chapter in here. And it's kind of like it's a book with several books and each book has its own amount of chapters. The one that I'm reading in particular has 26 chapters Um, 26 chapters in it just alone, you know. Um, I'm saying this to say, okay, this goes along with the message, okay? This is a situation where these are all sons, okay? They are all sons of Jacob and Leah. And they all are speaking to their sons, okay, that they created with their wives. And they are all giving them different, things. They're, they're telling them different things, different pieces of knowledge. They are giving different messages to their children. And here's the thing. Okay. I just feel like the, this is someone that once again, this is someone that is trying to compete with you. Okay. And this is someone that they feel like you should be doing what they are doing because they're running. You need to run. And because they're rushing, you need to rush. Because they're doing whatever a certain way, you need to do what they're doing. And you need to do it the way that they're doing it. God said no, okay? No, 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 no. It's a no and it's a hard no. If they want to do things the way that they are doing them, they can very well do that. However, it is not intended for everyone to be the same. It is not intended for everyone to do things the same way. It is not intended for everything to use the same pace for everyone like no just like in this book okay the testaments of the 12 patriarchs not only is it you know like i said these are all their brothers they are the sons of jacob and leah however each one of them had their own families they had their own kids and they are speaking to their children and each one of them are speaking different things like i said this is a book of the 12 patriarchs 
and all of them were patriarchs to their own families. And all of them had children. All of them had different things to say to their children. So God is saying for whoever you are, you and whoever this person is, y'all are different. Y'all may very well both be children of God, but what they have to say to the people that God sends to them is going to be different from what you have to say to the people that God sends to you. It's not going to be a situation where y'all are going to be just alike. Y'all are not going to say the same things. Y'all are not, it's not going to be a situation, it's not going to be that. And while simultaneously there can be circumstances where God may very well give two different people the same message, nine out of 10, they're going to deliver it differently. And I just feel like, um, just like even, I'm pretty sure once I get to reading through this book, there may be some things that people are saying that are kind of similar. There may be some things that may, you know, but I'm pretty sure once again, they're going to say it differently. That is just like when we read over um, the books in the Bible, like, you know, where they talk about Jesus and they go over their accounts and their point of view of the situation. Sometimes there are things that are worded differently. Sometimes someone sees it from this point of view. And then, you know, Matthew saw it from this point of view. And then he, he saw it from that. You know, it's just like you, you have to understand that it's not a situation where everybody is going to be exactly alike and everybody is going to say the exact same thing. Everybody is not going to be the same. God does not want everybody to be the same. God does not want every single one of his prophets to be exactly the same. They dress alike, they look alike, they act alike. They all say, say they, they they give the message exactly the same way. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be real. That, like that. No, it, it, even in the Bible, the uh, the prophets were not all the same. The like they they weren't. The disciples were not all the same. There were some disciples that you know were very prestigious men before they became disciples. There were some disciples that was about that life. You know what I'm saying? That it, like it, it's just. God is not, and God is not going to explain to nobody why he chooses who he chooses. He's not going to explain to anybody why he, like, you know what I'm saying, chose this one to do this and why he chose that one to do that. That's between them and God. It don't have nothing to do with you. And I feel like that's the message. You know, this is somebody they are trying to say that you need to do things the way they are doing. No, you don't. You need to behave and dress and act the way that they, no, you don't. No, you do not. No, you do not. No, you do not. And you don't some more. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like this is someone that is trying to, like, <laughs> you don't have to do what they said. You do not have to do what they are telling you to. And I, like, And I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? God says that we listen to him, not man. We are supposed to listen to the commands of God, not the commands of man. We are not, it's not a situation where we are supposed to, you know what I'm saying? We don't bow down and kiss the feet of another man. That is not, okay? That is not okay. That is idolatry. That is idolatry. That is idolatry and that is idolatry some more. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know what I'm saying? That's just me being real. And, you know, there are some people that they um, they get to a certain position, they get a certain amount of power, and they abuse it. And, you know, this is another reason why God is the only one that chooses who he is going to use and how he is going to use them. Because he knows when someone is going to abuse the power that he gives them, and he knows when someone is going to be humble. And, you know, for whoever this is for, I just feel like God is saying, you know, once, a, like, just like it says, you know, Jesus is with you. Like, I, the, the scepter of my kingdom will shine forth and a stem will arise from your root and a rod of righteousness will grow from it to the nations to judge and save all that call on the Lord. And that's the thing, all that call on the Lord. There are certain people that believe that only certain people are uh like that they, they're the only ones that God hear and they are the only ones that God wants to hear from and they are the only ones that God loves and that's simply not true. 
You know, in reality, God does not want any of us to see hell. God does not want any of us to go and, you know, experience what the, you know, the fallen angels and the demons are supposed to experience. But in reality, because so many people refuse to turn away from their sin, so many people refuse to repent, they end up going to this place. And, you know, it's sad to say that some people don't even realize some of the things that they are doing. They call themselves Christians. They say that they are of God. They say that they're children of God. But when someone is acting in the way that I'm describing, where they are basically trying to treat someone that is a child of God, like they are not a child of God, or they're trying to, you know what I'm saying? They're talking down on them, gossiping about them, making them feel as though they are making them feel unsure, making them feel as if they are not good enough. Or like, you know, this is not a God like a trait. This is not a trait of a child of God. Someone that is a child of God does not do these things. They don't behave in this way. And that's just real. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why I feel like I hear like someone like saying cover up or something like this is someone that is like I just feel like this is someone that is trying to make someone whoever you are they're trying to make you feel as though God doesn't love you and you are not welcome like they like, this is someone that wants you to feel as though you are not a child of God they want you to feel as though you are not good enough for God they want you to feel as though God does not love you the way that you are God does not love every aspect of you and you know like, you know, I, I, I do know that there are some people in this world that dress in a very provocative fashion. They, they you know, they always are very provocative. They wear, you know, loose, like, how do I, I they, they, they y'all already know what I'm talking about. You know, like wearing the little shorts and you got uh, everything hanging out and you got, you know what I'm saying? And it's the difference between somebody doing that and somebody that is covered, but they are just attractive. You know what I'm saying? They, like, you know, there are some people, there are some women that are shaped in a way naturally where it doesn't matter what they wear, you're going to see their shape. And just because somebody was naturally shaped a certain way, you know what I'm saying? And you know, like, I I, 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 I got one of them shapes, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because somebody is shaped that way does not mean that, and naturally, okay? Because it, 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 there are people that have naturally... And it doesn't mean that they are deliberately trying to be provocative just because they are shaped the way that they are shaped. And I just feel like there are some people that, like, you are experiencing people treating you as if just because of the way that you are shaped, you need to be, like, in a sheet. Okay, like, I just feel like you need to be in, like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference between somebody that that is wearing clothes with intention of trying to be very provocative and trying to, you know, lure people in and being very lustful and someone that has on an outfit where they are completely covered, but their shape shows, okay? And I don't know what that is, but I just, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like with somebody, it's just like, this is, I just feel like people are being judgmental towards you by behind the way that you naturally are, behind the way that you look, regardless if it's because of your beauty or because of the way that you're shaped or because of whatever this is someone that is trying to make you feel as though god cannot possibly call you god cannot possibly use you you are not intended to be a child of god you are not saved you are not this you are not that because of their own personal feelings towards you and for some of you it is actually projection they are projecting their own personal thoughts up on you and just because they have whatever sick thoughts that they have in their mind and they are being lustful towards you does not mean that you are deliberately trying to make them feel that way you cannot help the way that you were made you like that is the way that you were made and you know that's that's just what it is you know what i'm saying and you know especially me part like y'all already know i stay in one a very humid hot city okay very humid very hot i am not about to walk around in a robe all day every day everywhere i go i'm not doing it i am not going to be covered like with a sheet and you know like no we're not doing it it's too hot it's too hot 
It's too hot. And I'm a thick girl too. No. Oh, uh, that would just be dreadful. That would be terrible. Like, you know what I'm saying? All the sweat and ugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just being real. Some people, I just feel like some people are just absolutely bonkers with the way that they think. And just because your mind is perverted, that is something that you got to fix with yourself. That you can't look at somebody and see that they are covered and they just shape that way. And you know what I'm saying? It, like... I, Anyways, this is somebody that feels like you need to do things the way they do them. God said no. You know what I'm saying? God said no. This, You know what I'm saying? And it may very well be somebody, maybe they stay in a colder climate. It's always cold there. They can go around and wear robes all day. They can wear long sleeves every day, all day. They can wear, you know what I'm saying? And that's their thing. And, you know, maybe it's a a, a situation where they're, they, they have different hormones. They have a different body. uh what is it called? Like a body type, you know, because everybody's body is different. Some people, they can be hot while simultaneously wearing long sleeves and jackets and all kind of stuff. And they don't make, you know, they don't secrete any sweat and they, you know what I'm saying? They don't have any odor or whatever. And that's their business. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't the same. And I know me personally, I'm not going to be walking around in no long sleeve turtleneck all day, every day in Houston, Texas, where it's liable to be 100 degrees outside. It's not going to happen. And it's not going to happen at all because it's too hot for that. Even like me sitting here and what I have on right now, I'm sweating. I'm hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. And it's hot some more. And I got this light coming. Baby, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> I'll be real. I'll be a real. Am I gonna come out here with you know what I'm saying? It's a little bitty shirt. To, I, no, I'm not doing all that. But in reality, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I know me personally, and I'm just using myself as an example. Me personally, I cannot help the way that I am shaped. I cannot help the way that God made me. Is I've never it went to get any kind of plastic surgery. Any surgery I had was definitely necessary, and um. I just feel like for whoever this is for, like whoever this person is, this is a they, this is a them. That's how they think. They look at you and they feel attracted to you. They look at you and they, they're thinking these things about you. And because of what they are thinking in their mind, they are feeling as though you need to change yourself so that they don't think that way anymore. And God is like, why? You know what I'm saying? They need to figure out why they are thinking that way. They need to pray that off of them. You know, that like this is a situation. They need to fix themselves. You know what I'm saying? It, like this is <sighs> projection. Projection. Projection, projection, projection. And it could even be a situation where someone just thinks that you're pretty or someone thinks that you're attractive. And, you know, there are situations where, um, you know, girl world with women... Um, there are some women that, you know, they see someone, they feel like she's pretty, they feel like she's attractive, they feel like she has a nice body, and they think to themselves, oh no, I don't want my man to be attracted to her, because if I think she's pretty, he must think she's pretty, if I think she's attractive, he must think she's, and he, he might try, she might shake my man, and you know what I'm saying, I can't stand this, because it is very annoying, Especially when that, like, a woman that is thinking this way doesn't even stop to think she might not even be like that. And why can't I trust my man? You know what I'm saying? If you can't trust your man, that's a problem. And I'm just being real. And this is coming from somebody, I, I, like, I, I've had, you know what I'm saying? I had my own situations going on. I've dealt with men that cheat. I've dealt with men that are lustful. And I understand. But at the same time, you should not be making someone feel uncomfortable and making someone feel as though they are a villain because your person is looking at them or your person is doing whatever or whatever it is that you feel. And they may very well not even be doing that. The man may not even be thinking about her, may not even take a second glance at her, may not have even looked at her one time. But, you know, it's unfair. 
and it's not right. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's the message. I just feel like for whoever this is for, there is somebody that they are looking at you and they feeling as though you should not be welcome. And they are feeling as though you should not be welcome because of their own personal opinions towards you. And they are feeling this way, like they're being prejudiced towards you. Okay, to be real. like the, and, and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't have to be a racial thing. Like I said, it could be the way that you shape. It could be the way that you look. It could be because of they're looking at your face or they're looking at your hair they're looking at the way like whatever and they are feeling some kind of way and in reality you ain't doing nothing in reality whoever they feel like is gonna be they ain't doing nothing this is a situation where someone is just they feel some kind of way and that's their personal problem and that's the message thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe deuces